Since Discovery's arrival, thousands have viewed this space artifact at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center. And previously, this hangar was home to Enterprise, the prototype shuttle, which never actually flew into space, but was used for testing. So, how did the nation's leading museum make the switch? Student reporter Kaylee has more. I'll be giving you a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the historic moments of the space shuttle Discovery arrival. There's press everywhere, and the Enterprise is already in place. Soon, the Discovery and the Enterprise will be nose-to-nose. -nose. We have main engine start. Three, two, one. We have SRB ignition and we have liftoff. Liftoff of mission 41B, the first flight of the orbiter Discovery, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Starting with its first launch, Discovery has made incredible contributions into space exploration, scientific research, and manned space flight. In 39 missions, Discovery carried satellites aloft and had countless scientific experiments conducted on board. You have a go for the release of the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Telescope was even deployed and serviced on its missions, which allowed scientists to peer into the depths of the universe. Discovery delivered components to build the International Space Station, like giant tinker toys in space, and enabled the astronauts to work aboard the orbiting laboratory. Yeah, humans and robots in space work together. And that's one of the great things about the Space Shuttle is we had the robotic arm uh, and it allowed us to do things like repair the Hubble Space Telescope, build the International Space Station. Uh, without it, we couldn't have done it. The longest serving shuttle orbiter carried atop a modified 747 jumbo jet made its final flight past monuments, museums, and a captive public audience. Heralded as NASA's most recognizable vehicle and an icon of space exploration, the nation watched as Discovery arrived in Washington, D.C. If you look at the excitement that's associated with this airplane landing here, I mean, thousands of airplanes land on that same runway every week. And what this thing comes in and the whole world stops and starts to look. After 30 years and 135 missions, NASA retired the space shuttle fleet to make way for new space exploration vehicles. The three remaining shuttle orbiters and the prototype vehicle underwent modifications for transportation and public display. Greeted with a full-scale celebration, NASA presented Discovery to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, Stephen F. udvar -Hazy. This is the amazing moment that we've all been waiting for. The Space Shuttle Discovery is arriving in a grand procession to take a permanent place among the collection. This is so cool! It's my pleasure to be here today to welcome Discovery to her new home and open the next chapter of her historic life. The shuttles demonstrated that access to low Earth orbit was something we could accomplish regularly. Earth orbit could be an extension of our human biosphere, a place where we could live and work. Check out the two space shuttles. You can tell the difference. Enterprise never flew to space. Discovery flew more than any other shuttle, roughly the same distance of driving from New York to Los Angeles 53,000 times. In total, Discovery spent a year in space and carried 252 astronauts to low Earth orbit. Becoming part of the Smithsonian collection means that Discovery's final mission is to educate and inspire. The vehicle on permanent display showcases the innovations and capabilities of mankind. Well, the shuttle was obviously a storied part of the United States, its efforts to explore space. And it, it has more mileage and more staying power than anything so far. It's really a magnificent story of people being willing to take a risk, invest, come together with science, engineering, and others, and make it work. It shows the can-do spirit of America. And so I just love that story. And when you look at Discovery, and it's got 148 million miles on it, it looks like it. You know, that's a, it's a workhorse, you know. That's the American spirit. 